Okay, hey, what's up, everyone? This is Andre, um, and this is I Play Talk. I'm playing um, Valiant Hearts, a game that started off colorful and nice, but now it's actually getting to the most, and it was kind of like just focused on Baron von Dorf, and I was trying to get to him. There was a kind of very, um, it's not that he was kind of like hiding the war, but now it's it had like a little bit of like a storyline as like a fictitious and stuff like that. But even though I think Baron von Dorf was actually um, based on an, a real person, which I will try and put up the image and name right here. That's it. If um, there was no nothing, if I couldn't find it or whatever, um, I will also put it over there as in a message saying that I didn't find or whatever but anyway well, right now the game actually turned out to be much bloodier like in the sense that I still don't kill anyone and um, the colors are still there like the art is still the same but it, it is definitely portraying things in a lot more um, gruesome way right now and we're really taking part in big battles and now I'm whoop I'm gonna die here I'm with the mill at the Battle of Shaman de Dam or whatever. And people are dying left and right because apparently that's exactly what was happening in real life. And we there's just no well there's just no peace now. Like it's just go. It's just Of course I was die. Um but there's there's no resting time, like even if you go inside the the tunnels, things to get blown up like this, and you're required to just keep going. And yeah, that guy we just saved from remounting up corpses, yeah, and that's exactly like where you're at in the game. Like, see, things blowing up, Germans destroying everything. And we just gotta keep advancing, cause that's that's how things go. Okay, now we have a time limit. Some of those bombs are just falling in, but they're not blowing up. This is definitely the most tense part of the game. <laughs> right now and probably I don't even know if there's going to be any other part of the game is gonna be as tense as this man that's tough <laughs> oh no how far how far back will I be okay no it's just right there oh I think I should just go right yeah I think I should just go Now what? Where are we? Are they burning bodies in the- Oh my gosh, I hope not, because that is just, just terrible. And a mountain of corpses, again. Which is going to protect us. The guy that we saved just died. And so now we're just gonna have to run with it. It's just me and you, buddy. See if we can make it both alive. Uh, I think I must have to. Okay, now I got it. What? But what, what was I supposed to do? Um, I don't get it. Should I time it? Perfectly? Is that like a, just like a perfect timing? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think I understand it. Can I just stay around? I guess I should just stick. Just stay back, okay? Whoop. Yeah, I was. I don't think I was supposed to go with the car. 
There's something here that I'm gonna pick up. What's this? Papaka. Standard issue Russian headwear of the Tsarist period. Most of the Russians remain in Eastern Front, but from late 1914, the Allies asked Russia, the European country with the largest population at the time, right? I don't think. Is it still? I'm gonna figure it out. And I'm gonna post right at the right bottom corner. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. The first Russians arrived. Uh, the large players helped, helped in the Western Front. The first Russians arrived in France in 1916, but the Russian Revolution soon put the end to this fount of human resources. Yeah, that's kind of essentially the one thing I, I truly remember about countries in the First World War is that Russia, <clears throat> because of the, real, the Russian Revolution, they just bailed out of the war. Not sure if it was... I don't even know. It wasn't good things. Oh, I think that was supposed to happen. And it just leave me behind because apparently I was... They figured I was probably dead. But no. Emil lives. Are we really keep going? Oh, that was a mutiny. Oh boy. The Nivelle offensive was a bloodbath, a butchery. Soon, mutiny spread throughout the French infantry divisions, and the offensive was abandoned. Man. Emil was jailed with the other rebels, waiting to be court-martialed. Well, they just didn't want to die. I mean, I cannot agree with that at all. It sucks. <clears throat> I think I needed some water. The dogs of war. Man's best and most loyal friend shared the same day to day as the soldiers. Whether carrying messages, saving the wounded, or sweeping for mines, they never failed to fulfill their duty. What? The dog saved the day. Dog's the biggest hero in the game. I knew it. She, she was fast. I wonder how fast, I mean, how close the journey is. Okay, I'm back with Anna. And the super pretty part of the game. Look at how beautiful this is. Nice change of pace, man, from the horribleness that Emil is going through. Not that this is much better, but at least it's not as they spur on their own words. A bloodbath. Seems much calmer here, like the... War did get here, but it's just turned it into ruins and now they're gone. I'll be back soon. I just want to. I just want to figure if I can explore some stuff or not. No, I can't. Love how Anna is just kind of like became friends. With, I, I guess it's not too difficult to empathize and become friends in the midst of awfulness of war or whatever. I gotta do the thing here. Oopsies. Oh boy. It's really tiny now. That's how they made this difficult. They just made it really difficult to see. I'm a little tense, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, so she couldn't necessarily save him, probably give him a few more hours or something. Oh, 
It's still very difficult. I'm actually paying attention, trying not to mess up here. What? I say as I mess up. He got a bullet? When? Who shot him? Okay. Allez, Carl. Carl. Okay, so I need to find that anything new field hospitals a complex chain of medical units was set up to cope with the war wounded from eight posts at the front men were dispatched to the field ambulances where after summary treatment they were evacuated to the casualty clearing stations and onto base hospitals of port for re repatriation to blighty um i don't know what that is mm. the structure became more refined as the war progressed Due to the new emerging pathologies caused by trench conditions or gas attacks. For example, yes, I can imagine how many diseases were just there. I want to pick up some collectibles if I find some. The same guy there that, can, that we saw in the trenches without his hand. Um, does he have a leg? He does have a leg, but he's very, very wounded. Okay, gotta go up. There's books. Is this supposed to be a school or something? Turned into a hospital. Oh, nice. Syringe. Glass syringe. A syringe used by nurses to administer intravenous, intra intravenous or intramuscular drugs. The needle needles were not as fine tipped as today and injections hurt. Medicine was nevertheless making great progress. You would have to <laughs> in the middle of all that horror. I wonder I think I'm time bound here by the way. Oh my gosh, that's so pointless. Get out of here, dog. Um So I'm just kind of running. Open. Open. Nothing. Just wasted my time. Yeah, so I am time bound here. Like, I need to find this real quick. And real soon. So I don't necessarily have that much time to waddle to. Okay, so that's not there. Let me try and see if I can find it. Where the heck am I? I just came- oh my gosh! Could I have just gone here this whole time? Uh. I don't understand. What am I looking for and why? I think I'm- I think I'm gonna have to- uh, I think he's gonna die before I find it. Because I have no clue even what I'm looking for. Like. I kind of know it because she says it over here. There's one there's one right there. There's one right there. Yeah, I need that, but where is it? No. Where the heck is it? Nothing here. Oh, I got something which I'm gonna read just cuz x-ray equipment X-ray technology became available in the end of 19th century. I knew that from a university um, They didn't know it was a uh, Radioactive by then scientists and realized the dangers of radiation. Yeah, <laughs> radiologists were provided with leg gloves uh, Aprons helmets and goggles in military hospitals as they had that were cut out from them and would spend whole days x-raying thousands of wounded men Trying to figure out are you sure, girl? No, stop. Uh, I am very confused. Is there something here that I missed? Here? This is definitely a school turn hospital. What are those people doing? Like, what are you doing here? 
There's nothing here. Just go help. Something. What's, what's around here? Is this something that I need to... No. Maybe it's... Maybe it's over here. Okay, so it's downstairs. It's kind of like a labyrinth. Yeah, please don't die, Carl. Please don't. Okay, got it. And now, in here, nothing. I wonder if I have time to explore a little bit longer. Nothing here. Okay, so at least I know that there's a way out from here. Hold up, hold up, I'm coming. At least I know where it is after if I get to not be able to save him, but I will. Did I not make it? Oh, I think this was kind of supposed to happen regardless. Oh man! Ah, oh, I can't, I can't, I cannot mess this one up. Okay, okay, hold on. Gotta focus now. At least seems to be the same thing over and over. That was a little bit different, but I got it. Thank goodness. Oh, this was, this was very nerve-wracking, even though it wasn't hard. And I'm a musician, so rhythm is kind of like a thing that I'm very accustomed to. I'm a, I'm a bass player. Um, but even still, like, I don't know. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, got it. I think, I think this is gonna be enough. Hopefully, it will be enough. <laughs> ah, she made it. She had a little bit of a smile on her face, is smirking. <sighs> a little bit of a longer episode right now, but soon we'll be finishing. And he sees his child for not the first time, but One for the first time in a little bit longer. You know. Was enough for Carl to forget three years of war and exile. <laughs> you wish it was Let's that simple, on. but after weeks without news of a meal, Marie finally received a letter from her father. Oh, uh, we saw him writing in, writing in the prison. Emile Chaillon. <laughs> Emile Chaillon. And we got to play with Emil right now, but not right now. We're going to save this for the next episode. We're going to figure out what happens, what's the, Emil's fate as a rebellious soldier. Um, that's not the first time he rebels, but the first time that he rebelled, like, didn't even make that much sense. This one time I totally agree with this rebellion because they were just going to die. So they had to drop that offensive because it wasn't leading anywhere. And we're gonna figure out, figure all of this out of his fate and stuff like that in the next episode of, um, I play a talk, Valiant Hearts, I don't even know which one this is. I wanna say maybe, ugh, 16, 17? whatever um i'll see you next time um hope you like this uh and if you did click the like button and share and subscribe and you know the drill you've been on youtube for a while see y'all bye bye